Hi, Harry. How are you doing? Very well, thanks. How are you? I'm good. I'm Sarah from The Upcoming. Um, okay. Thanks so much for taking the time to speak with us. No, um, so, just to kick off, for people who don't know anything about Supernova, how would you describe what this film's all about in your own words? Um, well, Supernova follows uh, a middle-aged couple called Sam and Tusker, who uh, are living with a diagnosis of young onset dementia. Um, so whilst they're still able to travel, they plan a, a road trip around the north of England to visit um, friends and, and family and places from their past. Um, at the end of the trip, Sam, who's a pianist, is going to play uh, a concert, which is his first since he gave up uh, playing in order to look after uh, Tosca, who is, who is ill. Um, and as the journey progresses, sort of secrets are revealed uh, that challenge their preconceptions of how their futures together might play out and their, their love is sort of put to test like it's never been before. So it's, it's a kind of deeply romantic, um, challenging, important, I would hope, and uh, you know, life-affirming film about um, what we are willing to sacrifice for the people that we love the most. And why did you want to tackle this particular topic? you know, early onset dementia, but of course, within the context of a love story as well. Was it something that was sparked by something in your personal life or, you know, where did the idea come from? Yeah, it's, it's a very personal film. Um, and it, it sort of started really um, for me uh, because I was working with someone um, and she was in her mid fifties. And in the year that I was working with her, she went from being someone who was really uh, fun and funny and I got really well with her and she would really get her job and then by the end of the year she'd become the complete opposite of that actually she had her personality had changed she was very difficult to be around she was very bad at her job and she got let go from the place of work uh, we were at and about six months later um, I saw her in a wheelchair and I, I, I worked, found out that she actually had young onset dementia and uh, about six months after that, she had died. And, and what I, I had um, witnessed really firsthand, retrospectively, was someone kind of unravelling with that uh, particular condition. Um, so that one made me want to learn a lot more about it, um, not just as a filmmaker, but just as a, as a human too. So I then, a uh, pretty massive period of research and worked at UCL, Dementia Research Centre at the University of London, for a couple of years and met lots of people who are living with um, this kind of dementia. Uh, right. And they have an incredible chemistry. Mm -hmm. I understand as they might play, like, you know, which one playing which. So how did you get these two great actors on board for your film? And what was it like working with them? For uh, the other character, which was amazing, obviously, because it's Colin, but also I really wanted, if I could, to find two actors that had an existing relationship um, because it's such an intimate story and really just a two-hander, largely. Um, so yeah, they've known each other for 20 years and they're, they're sort of best mates and they really, they really love each other. So um, that helped a lot when you're, when you're making a film um, like this. And working with them was a, a, a just a total joy from start to finish. It, it really, really was. I mean, they're, they're such generous people as well as, you know, generous and incredible actors um, that, you know, it was, it was really fun. They were really fun to be around and, and so trusting of me, uh, which is like hugely important. Because I'm, you know, I'm pretty inexperienced uh, as a director, so they put a lot of trust in me, and we, yeah, and vice versa. And it was, yeah, it was great. I feel like the the film has a very particular tone and feel to it, and mm. I think in films like this, it's you may be easy to kind of run into something that's like overly sentimental, and there's something very understated about the film and the performances. Mm. Was that something that was important for you to try and achieve? And, and what did you kind of want to say by, by making it in that way? Yeah, I think, yeah, we, I tried really hard not to like make, allow the film to move into sentimentality because I think that is a pitfall with, with stuff like this. Um, and, and I hope, you know, we, we managed to achieve that. But I think it's, it was about really being kind of delicate. With, you know, they're two delicate characters and the position, they, the situation they're in in the film is an incredibly challenging and delicate one. So it was really a case in, in this particular instance, it was, the job was really just to, to not get in the way of them and to sort of be, um, be sort of light and, and, and I would say delicate about how we framed them and framed the story, you know, because it's, it's a very simple story, um, you know, complex characters, simple narrative is sort of the, 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 
to what I wanted to achieve with this particular project. Um, and, and so as a director, I think you, you sort of have to, or I felt like I had to, um, uh, it was quite a restrained process. Like I had to kind of just make sure that the, the performances were front and centre and nothing was really getting in the way of that. Yeah. And it feels that the locations are, you know, just as important as the characters' performances, mm. like they're the, being set in the Lake District and kind of this road movie feel to it. And, I, you know, your previous film is also a road movie. So is that mm. a, a kind of genre that you have an affinity for? And, you know, why? what was the importance of the locations for you? It is a genre I have an affinity for. And I don't think we do it very much in the UK, uh, largely. But I, but I probably won't, you know, I think I'm, I might be done with road trip movies for a while. But um, I, I like, I really like what it gives you is propulsion, um, like constant propulsion. And I think that's really cinematically interesting because you've got characters that are, that are journeying literally and, you know, emotionally. And I think that's, um, that's a good thing sometimes. Um, it, has, it sort of gives it a natural pace. Um, but yeah, the Lake District... I know pretty well and um, was very interested in, in about shooting up there uh, and I'm really glad we did because what you've really got and I think what the film is at its heart is, is, is an exploration of the micro and the macro because you've got this really tiny little journey if you like within this or I'm immersed within this um, massive um, kind of brutal and like bucolic landscape and then of course on top of that you've got the themes of the film that are a bit more, um, you know, uh, all pervasive the universe and why we're here and life and death. So I wanted to kind of frame this little journey about these two guys within, um, it's with cinematically within a, a much bigger context. And yeah, and, and working with Dick Pope, um, you know, to achieve that was kind of pretty amazing honour. And, you know, it is very moving in lots of places, but there are also moments of joy, moments of happiness, some bits of humour. Um, what do you want people to take away from, from watching this film? Because you could see it as, you know, quite a hard thing to watch at times, but there's also glimmers of hope there. And just looking at our own mortality, perhaps, you know, how do we face that? And how do we face that in a way that isn't sort of wholly depressing? And so, you know, what, what kind of themes were there in there for you? And what do you hope people take away? I think, well, I think it's really important to think about when you're making work, to think about what, what the gesture of the project is, like what the gesture to the world is. I think that's really important, especially when you're making uh, projects that, you know, that, that you feel um, have a sort of, um, have, a, have a specific importance culturally or, or uh, politically. Um, so, I mean, I think really the film is about how we take care of each other as humans when life it's hard. I mean, you know, how much compassion do you have um, for the people that you love? And so for me, like, that's really optimistic and really life affirming, you know, and it, it's kind of beautiful and transcendent, hopefully. So, yeah, I, I think what I'd like people to take away from it is, um, yeah, to think a bit about how we, um, how, how we interact with people that we love when times are hard and, um, yeah, sort of what love means um, when, when you're coming towards the 